Stella McCartney made ethical fashion a pillar of her label way before sustainability was a hashtag or buzzword. She's candid about fashion's immense harm to the environment, it's the second dirtiest industry on the planet after oil, and has paved the way for other eco-minded designers to follow her lead. But McCartney's clientele isn't strictly vegan, in fact, the reason she's been so successful is that she doesn't sacrifice style for sustainability. Her runway collections belie the ethical fabrics they're made from, and women love her faux leather shoes because they're bold and fun to wear, not just because they're animal-friendly. Her Adidas by Stella McCartney collections have brought eco-fashion to the athletic market, too. Last season, she developed jackets and sneakers made from 100% recycled polyester, a first for both brands. In conversation with Vogue's Tun Goodman at our Forces of Fashion conference this morning, McCartney discussed growing her business, becoming the standard bearer of sustainable fashion, and her plans for an even greener future. Below, we're sharing the three biggest takeaways from the panel. Keep them in mind next time you go shopping or feel the urge to rehab your wardrobe. When she launched her fur free, leather free business in 2001, there were millions of skeptics. In the beginning, I was kind of ridiculed. I know people thought I was nuts, how can you go into the fashion industry and not use leather? I had a million people along the way say, this is not going to work you're not going to have an accessories business, you'll never be able to approach it in the way all of these big brands do. But I think what's amazing is that I started in one place, but now the environment, what we eat, how we conduct ourselves, and how we consume, those links have been made. The information is out there, and that's what feels exciting. The reality of the impact this industry has on the environment, is something people can really see.